On April 3rd, 1987, 32-year-old Sarah Boyd and 33-year-old Linda McCord attended the gospel concert in Walterboro, South Carolina, with Sarah's two-year-old daughter, Kimberly, in tow. After the concert, the three were seen leaving Walterboro, heading towards Harleyville, South Carolina, in McCord's blue Lincoln Continental. The three have never been seen or heard from again. More than 36 years have passed since that night with no answers. Fitz News has taken a fresh look at this case as part of our new Unsolved Carolina series, and here's what we've learned. Despite reading every news article available regarding this case, there was no reference of where this concert was held in Walterboro. So we dug a little deeper, and we located an advertisement for a gospel concert in the Walterboro Press and Standard that was printed on April 2nd, 1987. According to the paper, the concert began at 7.30 p.m. and was held in the Hampton Street Auditorium, which is part of the Colleton Civic Center. The address of the auditorium is 494 Hampton Street, and according to news reports at the time, the three were spotted in Walterboro following the concert between 10.30 and 11 o'clock p.m. Newspapers reported at the time that when McCord's husband arrived home from work at midnight, his wife was not yet home. When he awoke the next morning at 6 a.m. and found she had still not yet returned, he contacted the Dorchester County Sheriff's Department to file a report. In the days that followed, investigators learned that friends had seen Linda McCord in the parking lot of the auditorium speaking with someone in a beat-up old blue car. Reports never gave any additional information regarding either the car or the person with whom McCord was speaking. But the same friends reported later seeing the same car following the women on the highway. The three were last seen in Dorchester County, presumably on their way home to Harleyville. Two days later, on April 5th, 1987, McCord's Blue Lincoln Continental was found abandoned at the Wells Crossroad in the Holly Hill area of Orangeburg County. Dorchester County Sheriff Carl Knight noted at the time that the vehicle's location was approximately 10 miles past where the women should have turned off to return to their homes in Harleyville. When they finally recovered the vehicle, they determined that the vehicle had been disabled after a freeze plug had blown off. After three weeks of fruitless investigation and amid pressure from the families of both McCord and Boyd, a search was scheduled for Sunday, April 26, 1987, in the wooded areas surrounding where the vehicle was found. By the time the search was conducted, Sarah's husband, Philip Boyd, had taken and passed a lie detector test. Linda McCord's husband, John, had declined one on the advice of his attorneys. According to Linda's mother, Cicero Williams, Linda and John McCord had lived with them at the time she disappeared. But John McCord moved out of the home the day Linda's car was found abandoned. Both Linda and Sarah's family members were absolutely adamant that the two would not have just disappeared. Linda's mother told the state newspaper that she thought something had happened to her. She said, I'm just hoping and praying she's still alive. This would not be like her to just leave. Linda wouldn't stay away from me for that long. We were very close. Sarah Boyd's cousin, Tanya Boyd, echoed that sentiment, but she added an interesting fact. She said, I don't see them going anywhere at the last minute. They had invited other people to go to the program with them, so that shows they hadn't planned anything. The search for the missing women and child yielded no clues for investigators regarding their whereabouts, but they did bring in an unexpected find that apparently halted the search and began a whole new investigation. While searching the Wells Crossroad area where McCord's abandoned vehicle was discovered, a pilot for the South Carolina Law Enforcement Department spotted three acres of well-tended marijuana fields. The fields contained as much marijuana as was confiscated statewide the entire year prior. Sled Captain Steve Smith estimated at the time that the drugs had a value as high as $20 million and it would take up to three days to chop the plants down and haul them all away. So, the search was put on hold as law enforcement officials began this process. Subsequently, Herman Marchant, age 47 at the time, 
and his twin brothers, John and Jim Marchand, both 63 years old, were charged with manufacturing and trafficking marijuana in Dorchester County in July of 1987. After initial news reports brought no new information, the story began to fade away from the headlines. Other than an occasional advertisement placed by the McCord and Boyd families offering a $6,000 reward, there were no new updates. Cicero Williams died on September 9, 1989 at the age of 64. Her daughter Linda was quietly listed as a survivor in her obituary, showing Williams had never given up hope that her daughter would be found alive. In 1990, three years after the disappearance, there was another potential break in the case. Sarah Boyd's credit card was used at a local mall. Police stated the signature on the receipt was barely legible and didn't match the missing woman's handwriting. The identity of the person who used the credit card was never ascertained, and it's currently unknown if they had any involvement in the trio's disappearances. Philip Boyd remarried, and he and his new, new wife had a son. But before he could remarry, he had to go through the painful process of having his wife declared dead. He told the Post and Courier in 2011 that he prayed for his family every day and about his daughter, Kimberly, who was two years old when she disappeared. He said, I wish I could see her again. I wanted to watch her grow up. I miss so much. He added, it's the worst thing that ever happened to me. A loving family vanished into thin air. Fitz News reached out to Dorchester County Sheriff's Office to get an update on where this case stands today. Sheriff's Lieutenant Rick Carson responded promptly to our inquiries with the information that he was able to share. According to Carson, this case is very near and dear to their sheriff, L.C. Knight. L.C. Knight assisted with this case while he was a special agent with SLED. And his father, Carl Knight, was initially involved as he was the sheriff of Dorchester in 1987. According to Carson, Dorchester County continues to pursue all leads they receive regarding this case. And when he said there was no new information to share, he did fill us in on three recent developments. According to Carson, a tip was received in 2019 about a woman living in Memphis who was thought to resemble Kimberly Boyd. This tip was assigned directly to Carson, and he said he was able to speak with the female in question. He said through that conversation and documentation, they quickly determined that it was not Kimberly Boyd. In May of 2020, the Orangeburg County Sheriff's Office received a tip that the bodies of Sarah and Kimberly Boyd and Linda McCord could be found under concrete work at a house in Santee, South Carolina that had been scheduled for demolition. Carson, along with Sheriff Knight and Orangeburg County Sheriff Leroy Ravenel, and many others from both agencies spent three and a half days dismantling the home, breaking up the concrete, and sifting through dirt. The investigators also employed the use of ground penetrating radar. Unfortunately, nothing was found. In my initial email to Carson, I had inquired about the body of a female child that was found in Waycross, Georgia on December 21st, 1988. This body remains unidentified. It was found off of Duncan Bridge Road in Ware County, Georgia, and the artist rendering of the child resembled Kimberly Boyd so much that it was unsettling. Known as Christmas Doe, road workers found the young girl's body concealed inside a duffel bag placed inside a suitcase and further concealed inside an old television cabinet. Her estimated age at the time of her death was between three and four years old, and investigators believe she died approximately four to eight weeks before her body was found. But by all appearances, her body wasn't meant to be found. Well, I was certain that they had already checked into this, I, I felt I had to share this information with authorities just in case it was a critical piece of information that could potentially bring closure to to, to Kimberly Boyd's family. Carson said authorities had received the same tip from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children about the unidentified girl in Georgia, and Sheriff Knight called in the criminal investigation commander. The tip has now been assigned to an investigator. 
Sarah Boyd, her daughter Kimberly Boyd, and Linda McCord have been missing for 36 years. If you have information regarding their disappearance, please contact the Dorchester County Sheriff's Office at either 843-873-5111 or 843-832-0300. Someone out there may know something that could help these families find closure.